My next guest brought a fairy tale to life in a uniquely personal way by dressing as Cinderella with one major difference. Her name is Mandy Pursley, and she was born without a right forearm. So as you can see, she wore a glass prosthetic instead of a glass slipper. She's here with us right now. Hi, Mandy. Hi. I love you. It's such a cool thing you did. Like, oh, thank you. Where, like, what inspired this photo shoot? Well, it all started when my daughter was studying Cinderella stories at school last year. And there's all these really beautiful adaptations from around the world, mm -hmm. but I realized there were still no princesses who looked like me, who had some kind of physical difference. Yeah. And that's a character that would have been really meaningful to me as a child. Yeah. And so I just thought, if she didn't exist, I'm going to create her. You can invent it. Yeah. I love it. And you. You actually made all the outfits, right? I did, yeah. Not I was, only yours, but your husband's. I did, yeah. I'm yeah. a seamstress. So, in, you know, true Cinderella you, fashion. I was like, wow, you're <laughs> actually Cinderella. <laughs> you're cool. So I did my uh, Cinderella ball gown, and I enlisted my husband to be Prince Charming. That's sweet. Yeah. I love that you got your husband to do that. I can get my husband to dress up, too. Yeah. That's pretty, it's pretty fun to get them to do that. You it have to is. promise cuddles, but it's fine. It is. Um, <laughs> you originally planned to unveil this whole idea, this whole concept at Comic-Con, right? Yeah. Why didn't that happen? So I have a chronic illness, and unfortunately, it got the better of me. So we were actually backstage, oh. ready to go on, and I passed out. And so I went to the hospital instead of going on stage. Oh my god, you work so yeah, hard! I know. I was so discouraged that I didn't even show people these photos that we had done. And then a couple weeks ago, I had a friend, and she asked if I had any photos of Cinderella I could share with this little girl she knew who had one arm. And I thought, you know, I'm going to post these. Oh, that's a god thing. To make the fact one that that just came happy. up out of nowhere. Exactly. Wow. And you know, I, it is a God thing that it's yeah. blown up in this way. This yeah, crazy. I mean the fact, yeah, that was that's that's so cool. I love the yeah. universe. I love God. I love how that works. Um, mm -hmm. Why was it so important to you to do this photo shoot? You know, originally I really wanted other little girls who had some kind of a physical difference to mm -hmm. see themselves represented, because I think it's so much easier to believe in yourself if you see people who look like you achieving the same dreams that you have. 100%. But I think it's had such wide appeal because we all have ways in which the world makes us feel less than perfect. Yeah, and so, it's called social media. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I hope this just inspires people to embrace themselves because yeah. I think when you can really love yourself and then extend that love and acceptance to other people, that's what makes the world a better place. Absolutely. Absolutely. You kind of feel her on the fact that, like, representation, like having representation for everyone. Oh, absolutely. My challenge is in my mind. I have dyslexia. Mm -hmm. So uh, challenge is everybody has some sort of challenge. And the not only is this brave and beautiful, but it is also um, so thoughtful, mm -hmm. so worldly uh, thoughtful that you would think uh, to do that for everybody else out there. That's really cool. Yeah, and for me, I agree with everything that's been said. I mean, I think as people with a platform, we have a responsibility to do something good with it. Mm -hmm. You know, we have fans who listen to us, even non-fans that are forced to listen to what we're saying <laughs> uh, on social media and all of that. So, you know, for me, like when we were doing The Lion King, everywhere we would go, people would ask me, press would ask me and Seth, like, oh, are Timon and Pumbaa gay? Like, et cetera, et cetera. And it gets to a point where you're like, well, I don't know. That's not on the script. But instead of arguing over silly things like that, why people don't we just ask put that? Constantly, constantly. That's weird. Yeah, and I'm like, I don't know. He's a meerkat. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I didn't write it. But at the same time, I think it's important to have LGBTQ characters everywhere, including in animated films and family films. And so we don't have to have stupid arguments about Timon and Pumbaa. Don't you wish there were times that there's been times in my life I have these Ally McBeal moments in my head that play out that I'm like, when someone asks me some kind of stupid asinine question like that, I just want to go, Pass. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm done with you. Yeah, like, exactly. what? Yeah. I can't even believe that was an issue or brought up. People are looking for a quote to put on Twitter, you know, like anything controversial to get clicks. Uh, That's a whole other story. We're not here to talk about that. Uh, but you know what? You yeah. can come back and I will talk about it. I can't stand <laughs> yeah. that. Mandy's story has inspired thousands around the world. And one of those people is joining us right now. This is Mimi and her mother, Vanessa, y'all. <laughs> Two years ago, Mimi underwent an emergency amputation on her left arm because of a flesh-eating bacteria. It is so lovely to meet you. You are so beautiful. My gosh. You walked out here and I was like, you are such a little princess. You're so beautiful. Thank you. you. You look real cute. Vanessa, let's talk about, like, what happened? Like, how did this, it's so random. Like, well, 
Gotcha. She was in kindergarten about two years ago when I picked her up from school. She was complaining about pain in her arm. The next day, she woke up with a fever. We ended up in the hospital, and all of a sudden, she's fighting for her life. Um, that's when I learned that she had a flesh-eating bacteria infection, and in order for them, the doctors, to save her life, she had to get an amputation. Wow. How yeah. has the recovery process been? It's been good. She goes to um, Blythdale Children's Hospital, and she does her occupational therapy there. Mm -hmm. And she's recently had her new prosthetic arm, and she's learned how to put it on herself. She's learned how to tie her shoe. And she's just been doing really good. Yeah. How are you doing? You love in school, everything's good. Are you starting to get back into the groove of everything yeah. in life? And girl, you're strong. You are a strong individual. That's a lot that's been put on your plate. I mean, what what did you what did y'all think whenever you saw Mandy's photos? I thought she looked beautiful. <laughs> and I think it's really important for Mimi to see people that look just like her. I remember one day I was driving by the park and there was this little boy playing soccer and he had crutches and she was just like, mommy, look. And when I look, he had an amputated leg, but he was playing soccer. So I don't feel like people who have an amputation or any type of disability should feel left out or different. Yeah, you're not limited. You just have to work around it. Exactly. My little girl loves princesses. Did you love her dress? Did you love yeah. that look? Yeah. Who's your favorite princess? Ariel. Ariel. Oh my gosh, that's my baby girl's favorite. She, I don't, I can't tell you how many times I've heard part of your world. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, I, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have um, any advice for Mimi and Vanessa? Yeah, you know, I just want to say you are awesome, and girl, you can do anything. And you know, one thing that took me a really long time to figure out is the best thing you can do is just throw out the world standards and be yourself. Because when... <laughs> yeah. And just so you know, that's not just... That's for everyone. That's every little girl, every little boy. We are all so different. We come in different shapes, sizes, colors, personalities, religious backgrounds, everything. Everybody's welcome and everybody's got their own kind of hurdles in life to go with and, and their own situations. And I just think... I really wanted you on this show, Mimi, because I thought, one, this was such an inspiration to see, like, dressing up a princess. You could be a princess, too. Yeah. With a cool arm. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Well, Mimi, we do have a surprise for you. We got you your very own princess dress. Are you interested in it? Yeah. Man Mandy has her princess dress backstage, and she's going to put it on. There we go. It's Cinderella. And we were thinking that maybe y'all could put it on, do a little photo shoot, because um, both of you in this would be adorable. If y'all want to see the pictures of Mandy and Mimi, check them out on Instagram at Kelly Clarkson Show. Thank you so much for being here, baby girl. I love you. You look beautiful. Thank you. Yes. I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right, and I can talk a lot. Seriously, not going to stop. Yep, still here, not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.